doing with your life, fringe? There you go. That's better. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm bringing you the fifth update for my Pan That palette. This project was originally created by Amber F who I'll have a link down below and for 2020 I have been working on my Kat Von D metal matte palette. It has been two months since my last update but before we get into the little and I mean little because I've only used this palette 30 times in those two months before I get into the little bit of progress we have made, let's go through our palette montage. And this is where we are now. Straight away, you might be able to see one major difference. I'll put a photo of it up here just so you know what I'm talking about. But you can see that I have hit pan in flash. And this was one of my monthly goals for this project. It took me an additional three times to hit this pan. And I am pleased to say that's another pan in my palette, making nine pans all up so far. You might also be able to see that I'm actually starting to get some larger dips in silk and fringe. I've used both of these quite a lot in the last month. In fact, I used silk seven times and I used fringe four times. And one of my other monthly goals was to use all shades that didn't currently have pan at least once in the month. Unfortunately, I did not achieve that goal. I didn't use either what or moss. So these two green shades here, I didn't even touch those. So we are going to roll over that goal and see if I can do it in the next month. I would like to use all shadows at least once. And talking of goals, I would also like to hit pan on either silk or fringe. Not both of them, just one or the other. If I get double pan, I'll be double pleased. But if I'm able to hit pan on at least one of these two shades, I'll be mighty happy. So overall, this has been a rather quick update. Not too much to share, not too much to go through. I'm still slowly working on this palette, but like I said, I've only used it 30 times since my last update, which that kind of usage is not going to get me very far. Though in saying that, I have managed to use an additional gram of product. Considering we are already in the month of October, we'll start to be honest here and I do not think that I will be managing to hit pan on all shades in this palette. I'm also starting to kind of get bored with it. I really love this palette and I enjoy having it in my collection and it is definitely not a boring palette. Like you have got a good amount of both shimmers and mattes and you are also have the lighter shades, the neutral shades, as well as the more darker, bright colored shades. So there is definitely a lot of opportunities within this palette and it is very useful, but I am finding that I'm getting kind of bored with it. I'm not enjoying the structure of Pan That Palette. And I do think I kind of get to this point every year that I do this project. So in saying that, I am starting to reconsider how I operate my Pan That Palette and if it is worth me continuing with a Pan That Palette style project or if I look at doing something a bit different. I'd love to hear down in the comments what you do for Pan That Palette or if you don't do a Pan That Palette, if you do anything that kind of incorporates using your palettes and not so much focusing on finishing them up. With that all said, that is all we have for today. So I'm Verity, that was the fifth update for my Pan That Palette and now to the outro. Yeah.